I'm talking right now with Chris Brockbank from a company called Toro Track out of the UK, all about flywheel hybrids. And yeah. my first question is, what is a flywheel hybrid? A flywheel hybrid is like any other hybrid. It stores and recovers kinetic energy from the vehicle and stores it, but not in a battery. Or so what, like when you're braking, you're, when you you're going to store that yeah. energy instead yeah. of letting it dissipate. As instead heat. of wasting it and sending it out into the atmosphere as heat, uh, we store it, but not store it in a battery or a, a supercapacitor, but store it in a rotating flywheel. So the flywheel, it, how does it store energy? Then explain that. It's, it's a simple equation of mass times velocity squared. So you have the, the speed of the flywheel and the mass of the flywheel. The quicker it goes, the more energy it has, the more energy it contains. And of course, we're, we're talking about this today because in Formula One, they're going to this energy storage system. Yeah. Explain a little bit about how that'll work in Formula One. What are they doing in Formula One is they have allowed uh, technology to come into the vehicles to be developed under the Formula One banner that will have a use in road cars. And they've said, okay, for the 2009 season, you can have a hybrid, an electric hybrid, a mechanical hybrid, any hybrid you wish. And the system that we're developing with our colleagues is a mechanical system. And how much power will that actually capture and, and how will they use that in Formula One? Okay, the, the rules they've set is quite, sounds quite a small number and it's 400 kilojoules of energy per lap at a rate of 60 kilowatts. And okay. that's really about... Yeah, put that in English, man. In English. <laughs> that's about 80 horsepower of energy that's available on a push to pass, like an overtaking button. And it works out when you work out the math at 6.67 seconds of boost of 80 horsepower. So I could, for six seconds, I hit the button, boom, I got an extra 80 horses. That's the way, exactly. Uh, how, and, and this is the actual transmission. This is, is the it, unit that, can, that takes the energy from the drive line through a variable drive, a CVT, into the flywheel storage device and controls how that energy flows both directions. Amazingly compact. It is. Now, that's got to be a whole lot more compact uh, with the flywheel than a battery system would be. Absolutely. And, and the, the, the numbers that we've come up with is we're saying that the CVT with the flywheel and the housing, we're looking at half the weight, half the package of, uh, of a, an, another system that could be... A battery to, system, A battery say. system, at least, at least half. Of that. Show how this works. You have a little bit of a working yeah. model here. This is, this is what is inside this, this model. This is the full size of the CVT system that's on the uh, Formula One cars. And it works, as we show here, with discs. These are discs and rollers in between. In essence, if I turn it over, you can see that the, the discs rotate, the rollers rotate. And by changing the position of these rollers, you can see on the wheel, on the output, I can change the speeds. And exactly what you're seeing here happens inside this unit. Now, how about for road cars? Because if you can come up with a hybrid system, half the weight, uh, a fraction of the cost, I'm mm -hmm. guessing, how much less cost? Uh, the numbers are still being calculated, but we're looking at about a quarter of the cost. Because you're not, you've got a far more efficient system here. When we calculate the efficiencies, the efficiency of the electric systems, by the time they've gone from mechanical, to uh, electrical energy, to chemical, and back again, is about 31 to 34 percent efficient. Whereas this system, because it's all mechanical, with the losses of the CBT and the flywheel and back again, is 70 percent. So we're twice as efficient, which means we're recovering the energy, putting it back in, giving a very efficient system. So car companies have got to be all over this. They must be interested They're in those kinds of numbers. Yeah. The, the target that the FIA had which was to get technology being developed in racing that is applicable to road cars, has worked completely. The car companies are interested, they're talking about it, they're seeing that this is real, that it can be delivered, and the fuel economy numbers they're coming up with are impressive. And who is Torotrack? Tell our audience a little bit about the company you work for. Okay, Torotrack is a UK company. We're, lo we're on the London stock market. And our job is full toroidal traction drive technology. Bit of a mouthful. But we make and develop the technology behind variable drives, either as transmission systems or as ancillary drives for hybrids, for you know, variable drives for superchargers, turbos. That's, that's the work that we do. And who else are you working with in this, this Formula One project? For this Formula One project and for the road car projects, we are supplying our technology via a company called Xtrack, who make race transmissions, into a company called Flybrid Systems. And they're the system supplier for this system. I love that name, Flybrid. Flywheel and hybrid together, Flybrid that's, is that's what you've what got. That's what they've done, yeah. So there's, there's two guys, John Hilton and Doug Cross, who are ex-Formula One. 
and they've started this company with the pure focus to develop mechanical flywheel hybrids and get them into not just motorsport but into road cars as well. Chris, I got to tell you, I'm so excited about this because you know it just shows there's a whole new technology path yes. in how to do hybrids. Absolutely. Thanks for coming in. No problem.